Hello, what's up, gone people of the oh, that. Welcome to a different kind of video where I'm just going to be speaking. You're not going to see my face. I've hidden it away. I've ripped it off, and it's in the cupboard somewhere. Now, yesterday evening, I was sat in my chair and played. I played all my video games. I was like, right, I've had enough of this shit. I'm going to watch a film. First time in ages. So I sat down, whacked the old Netflix on, which was, stop putting the prices up. Stop it. Whacked Netflix on, and I saw Mewtwo Strikes Back. They've done a read shuffle, re-fluffle, re, -fluffle, re, -fluffle, re redo of the original film. And I was like, oh, yes. Okay, right. Time to get on a little nostalgia trip. I'll sit in my chair, get some popcorn, maybe some Coca-Cola. I don't know, chocolate bar, whatever. Whatever you have at the cinema. Loud food. Loud food. <laughs> and I switched it on. I was like, oh, this looks very nice. It looks like Pixar. It looks like a Pixar type of film. I was like, oh, yes. Marvellous. Pikachu looks like a real character. Like, every, everything looked alive, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But in a weird sort of animate way. And I started watching, and I was like, oh, yes, yes, I remember this. Oh, it's basically the same as the original. There's a, one or two bits that are slightly different. One or two bits. So I'm not spoiling anything here, unless you haven't seen the first one. If you haven't, God help you. Watch it now. Watch it now, please. The theme tune itself was not the original. It was all artsy-fartsy. Everyone was... It was all dance music. Everyone was having a rave in the patch came in front room. <laughs> also, it was not sung by the original artiste. It wasn't, no. Which I thought, oh, okay, I can let that slide. We'll let that slide. We'll carry on. We'll carry on watching the film. And then we get to the narrator. A very different... Well, not too different. He sounded a bit different. I was like, oh, is this the same one? And no, 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 no. not the same one at all. So, like, okay, okay, we're still going for nostalgia. Come on, pop someone in there. The voice of Pikachu's the same, I believe. Pikachu's adorable. And then we get to Ash, who sounds a bit off. I was like, oh, oh dear. Then we get to Misty. Also sounds a bit off. I was like, oh, okay, right, cool. Sort that out. And then we get to Brock. Oh, my dear Lord. Brock sounds like what would happen if Jake and Logan Paul had a child together. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, come on, sort it out. I mean, I know Brock was always a bit bro -y, but come on. It's not that bro -y. And then, of course, we come to Team Rocketeers. The Rocketeers, the Three Musketeers, with Meowth, James, and Jesse. Now, Jesse's voice sounded different. Of course it did. Everyone's voices sounded different. Then, of course, we get to the best character in the entire Pokemon franchise. That would be Mr. James Jameson. And I was completely mortified when I heard the voice of James. Now, obviously, I know that there was a new voice actor introduced at some point after the first two seasons, or three, I can't remember. But I would have thought... For this whole nostalgia thing, that's what we're going for here, nostalgia movie, that they would have plucked him back and said, right, get in that bloody chair, you're doing this film. Sit down, Mr. James, and do the film. And it really put me off. I don't understand why. I mean, maybe because I'm an old fat man sat in a chair and I watched this when I was... A small fat child sat in the cinema. But I wish they would have just got the original voice actors back just for this. 
It would have been very special. It would have made it more special. It would have made it better than what it is. Now, I'm not trying to take anything away from the voice actors who did this film. I'm not. I mean, they're good voice actors. Of course they are. That's how they got the job. But if you're going for nostalgia, yeah, nostalgia, looking back, enjoying yourself, then why not add to that nostalgia by having the original actors? That's all I'm saying. But will I watch it again? No. Tell you why, I'd rather watch the original because it's near and dear to my heart. I'm being so biased. That's what it is. If you are going to watch this film, I thoroughly suggest you watch the first one first. Mewtwo Strikes Back from 1998 in the 90s when everything was better. We didn't have every, all this new nonsense. I'm scared and alone. Help me. But I thoroughly suggest, yes, I thoroughly suggest you do watch the original one first and then watch this one and all the other way around. But make up your own minds. If you did enjoy the video, please press all the normal likey pokey things. And I will see you again very soon. Thank you everybody for watching. And goodbye.